Good morning. Good morning. It's a very cool and chilly Saturday morning. Um, I'm getting ready to uh, go to the farmer's market this morning to sell my jewelry. Um, so I'm not going to be long, but I just wanted to talk about something really quick. Um, you know, when I have different various questions that um, come up about relationships, um, I think a lot of times we don't really think about things um, outside of the scope of mainstream or what other people think or um, how people operate in their relationship or whatever, right? So I wanted to talk real quick about why it's vitally important that you um, veer away from trying to um, fix your relationship like everybody says you should fix your relationship. Your relationship is yours. Good morning, Lisa. Your relation is yours. Hey, Ryan. Right? So with your relationship being yours, you have a right to design your relationship the way you want to design your relationship. You don't have to um, structure your, your life or love life around what other people think. Period. Point blank. So I just want to give you something really quick because, you know, like I said, I'll be leaving here shortly to sell the jewelry. So I'm going to be kind of uh, having to get busy. So anyway, let me talk about this. Um, so I had a, a client ask me because her and her, her man are going through a controversy about, you know, um, her having a best friend that's a, you know, a man. And he has an issue with the fact that she has a friendship with a man since they are now in a relationship. And she said that she's very frustrated by it because she has to withdraw affections, withdraw conversation um, to make her man comfortable because he has, um, you know, the, the, the standard thinking that you don't have outside men in your life if you are in a relationship with me. So I want to just put it out here real quick. Uh, that is not okay. <laughs> First of all, if you are in a relationship and you had male friends before being in a relationship, your male sh friendship should not lay to the wayside or you shouldn't have to detach from them because of the fact that you're in a love relationship now. As long as there's clear understanding with your mate that you and him are together, it, do it doesn't matter. Because see, my thing is this. If you guys were friends, best friends, hanging out, sleeping together, or whatever, before you got into a love relationship, obviously, that friendship, be it if sex was involved or not, hit capacity. You both decided that you weren't going to go any farther than the friendship you had. And so, with that said, opposite, opposite sex friends are okay in a relationship, whether you were intimate with them or not. Because guess what? You most likely were intimate with somebody else before your mate. Anyway, what about your exes? You don't just detach from all exes because you're no longer together. There's many people that have exes that had kids. So there has to still be an engagement. There has to still be a conversation. Because, of course, you have kids with them or had kids with them. So we have to see outside the box, people. If we get to a point where we're in a relationship and we can't have outside opposite sex friends it, it it's it's not okay because at the end of the day there's only two sexes on the planet men and women <laughs> you're going to eventually whether you're in a love relationship or not you're going to connect with other people of the opposite sex let's grow up people we're grown as hell you're going to get insecure because your woman's got male friends. My God, do you know how many male friends can keep it a hundred and a buck and actually help you in your relationship? <laughs> There's a lot of male friends I'm cool with. I don't want them as a, I don't want them sexually or anything like that. And they'll bounce some stuff off of me. Hey sis, what do you think about this? Hey, my woman's saying this, what you think? And I'll be like, listen, I care about you. I care about her and I care about the you and her. 
I'm not here to try to break y'all up. So at the end of the day, I'm going to help you to see it from her perspective if I can. Because at the end of the day, I don't want you. I had opportunity to have you. I didn't want you then. Then I don't want you now. And even if we had sex, that don't mean we wanted each other. It just may be that we had sex. So what? That don't mean nothing. That's not a hill. Of, doesn't mean a hill of beans. If you have a love relationship and you love each other and you have decided openly that you two are together, any woman, bestie, ex-bestie or whatever should and most likely will respect your relationship because she had an opportunity. First of all, and I don't think a lot of people think about this, the opportunity was there before you, men and women. The opportunity was there before you. So at that point, if you had the opportunity and you didn't take it or for whatever reason, y'all didn't mesh together or decided that it's not going to be a unified, uh, uh, harmonious relationship, then be it as it may, it's, it is what it is. So what? So what? We need to grow up and get off of this shit where we own our mate. We own our boyfriend. We own our man. We own our love partner. We own our husband. You don't own nobody. They have a right to have friends. My God, some people are so immature when it comes to just being open and honest about the fact you want them to yourself. Okay, that's unrealistic. Your mate, whether you are in a relationship or not, has a, has a life outside of you. They may have a life outside of you with friendships, may have a life outside of you in work relations, familial relationships. You're not their whole world. So you got to get over that shit, man. We got to grow up in, in relationships. If they have an a, a opposite sex relationship, so be it. Embrace it. Be thankful for it. Because sometimes, like I said, they can help you to see some things that maybe you can't see. Because, of course, like I said, my male friends will come to me and say, Hey, sis, like, what you think about this? Hey, look, check this out. I'm having this issue with my girl, man. Can you help me? I'm not, is it something I'm not seeing? And I'll be like, yep, here's what you're not seeing. Here's the, here's the things that you're, you're just not being um, aware of. Here's something she's not saying that maybe you're not trying to focus on trying to fix. So again, a lot of times we get upset because our mate wants to have outside opposite sex friends. That's silly. That's silly and immature. We got to grow up, man. Relationships are what they are. If you and he or you and she have made a decision to be together and you are making it clear to all of your relationships, male or not, female or not, you say, hey, I'm in a relationship with, with Derek or I'm in a relationship with John or I'm in a relationship with Linda. I'm in a relationship with Denise. And, and, and that's the case. Then be it as it may, it is your responsibility if they cross a line that you feel is dis disrespectful to your to your newfound relationship. It's your responsibility to check that in. You have the friendship with her, not not your mate. So again, it's very important that we're clear, crystal clear in our relationships. We're grown as hell. I don't have to I don't have to be monitored by my man as to who I'm messing with and who I'm talking to, or if I hug somebody too damn long. I got a lot of male friends, tons of them. You know what I'm saying? And they may come up and hug me, hey sis, what's going on? And my man's uh, friends might see him and oh my God, I'm calling him. Guess what? I saw her hugged up. Yep, I was hugged up. That's a friend from way back, man. That's, that's family. And you're tight over that? Come on, man, we're grown. He knows I'm with you. I'm clear about that. I don't hide it. You know what I'm saying? So... We have to understand that it's very important when it comes down to it. When you're in a relationship and you're in a love relationship and you want to have friendships that are outside of the relationship you're in, then be clear about what the, what the standards are. Make sure you're clear about what's going on. Keep it a buck. Listen, we're in a love relationship, okay? And, and as long as you don't disrespect, there's no reason why I can't go out to eat with them, have a bite to eat, talk about some things, bounce ideas off of them. Your whole life doesn't have to stop because you're in a love relationship. It's unrealistic. As long as you seem to think that there's nobody else outside of your love relationship, then <laughs> you're not, you're living in a bubble here. 
because nobody can be your everything. I don't care if you're married. I don't care if you're a love partnership. I don't care if you're boyfriend and girlfriend, whatever it is. Nobody can be your everything. Matter of fact, putting that much pressure on somebody is exhausting. It is. And then, and then you have to be careful what you do. I can't say this. I can't do this. I got to be for sure that he doesn't find out about this. That's too much. Exactly, Octavia. You have to make it plain. And, and at the end of the day, like I said, you work a job. You go to school. You're going to have interactions with the opposite sex. And guess what? You will and probably most likely will be attracted to other people. It's what it is. But it's up to you to make a decision. Am I in a love relationship that I don't want to compromise out of it? If you do, then you'll be clear about that. If you don't, then you won't. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So don't, don't, don't dampen or or basically hurt the relationship you're in because you're afraid that your love that you in, in love with has outside opposite sex people in their life that you feel threatened by if that's the case that's on you that's something inside you that insecurity is about you not them check that shit in if you being insecure about something you need to check that in you need to do an inventory of you why do you feel some type of way about a beautiful woman hugging on your man and you're a beautiful woman? That don't make sense. Why are you having an issue with a handsome man that's got his, got his own and got, got it going on, friends with your woman, and you got it going on? And obviously, she's with you. And he knows it? I mean, th this is the reason why so many people hide who they are. They're less authentic to their mate. Because they try to cuff it a little bit. They try to hold back. I don't want to really tell him that I really like this person and I really enjoy our engagement and I really have um, a, an appreciation for the person because he's going to feel some type of way. That's on him or that's on her. If they're feeling some type of way about how you operate, that's on them. And then you have to make it clear. This is some stuff that I talk about all the time, even with you know, my daughter that's in a love relationship, or even when I'm coaching c couples, I tell them all the time, you have to be authentic. You have to be authentic in your own truth. If you really love somebody, be it as it may, you have to allow them to be open to other people, allow them to engage other people, allow them to see other people, allow them to be free in themselves. Because guess what? As long as you holding on to them just being your everything, you're going to be, you're going to become really suffocating to your mate. That's a lot to suffocate a mate trying to make sure that he's your everything. That is not okay. Get off of that, man. It's not healthy. It's just not healthy. And the relationship will, eventually it will cause so many problems because they can't be who they are in your presence or outside of your presence. Or there's all kinds of, no, he didn't. And I'm going to find out why he was talking to her. And that's too much. This is why relationships look like this. We have to be honest and open. Hey, look, at the end of the day, I have male friends. I'm not going to cap them off either. I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm not going to stop talking to them. I'm not going to stop being friends with them. I'm not going to stop taking their calls because I'm in a relationship with you. That's immaturity. And you as a man, grown ass man should be like, nah, she has friends and I'm cool with it. Because at the end of the day, she home with me. She's with me. I ain't worried about that. Same with women. I hope he has beautiful women in his life. Because at the end of the day, I can't take care of all that. <laughs> you might have perspectives I can't see. And maybe another woman can give you a different perspective or give you something you need that I can't. By all means, do you, boo? So I just wanted to let y'all know, share this video because it's very often that I have this conversation, not just with, you know, my clients, but I have a lot of conversations about this particular scenario because people have a funny feeling about opposite sex friends being a part of you know your love life if you're unrealistic and you think that hey i can't you know i'm not okay with you being cool with her or him then you need to turn it on them that's about you that's not about me because i'm crystal clear especially if i'm in a relationship i'm crystal clear yeah i'm with him or this is my dude or i'm with you know i'm clear <laughs> i don't have no reason to make my waters murky I'm like, hey, look, 
I know you like me or cool with me. We can still be friends even if you're attracted to me. I ain't got no problem with that because I'm a grown-ass woman. I'll tell you what it is. Well, you can be attracted to me all day. Invite me to your place. We can go here and do this and do that. But at the end of the day, I don't want you like that. I'm cool as us being friends. And then I have a relationship that I don't want to compromise out. Or I have a relationship that isn't open. Or I have a relationship that, you know, I'm not I'm not functioning in that space right now. I'm just trying to have a good time, man. I have a friendship. I have a connection with you. I enjoy you. So with that said, let's do what we do. And if a man or a woman has a problem with that, like I said, it has nothing to do with you, but everything to do with them. So they need to look at themselves, inside themselves. What is your own insecurity? Because my being and my beauty and who I am and what I come with, you knew from the start was vibrant. I have a beautiful essence. That's going to attract people, period, women and men. So at the end of the day, I mean, are you uncomfortable with that because of what? You weren't uncomfortable with it when you were attracted to it. So let's not, let's not subside. One of the things that I, I and I'm going to finish this up. One of the things that I love about um, Boris Cujo's wife, Nicole, she said something real powerful. She said, listen, ladies, yes, he is as beautiful as he is when he wakes up. As when you see him on the modeling pictures and in the movies and all of that. Yes, he is that fine. Yes. And she embraces it. She doesn't try to be like, no, y'all better not. Y'all better not look at my husband. No, you better not. Like, are you crazy? Look at him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you would be a fool to think nobody else is attracted to who you were attracted to. Let's just grow up. Let's get off of this cap off of being able to just really engage and embrace each other. Be thankful that you have somebody beautiful and attractive that loves and is attracted to you. It's real talk. We got to stop thinking that, oh my God, somebody's loving him and wanting to hold him and hug him and spend time with him and go out to eat with him. Bye, have fun. You ain't got to hide it from me. I'm going out to eat with Jessica. You know, she's talking about her dude or whatever. Like, go have fun. I'll talk at you later or whatever. I I, what am I going to be insecure about? I'm fabulous on my own. I ain't worried about that. This is where we got to get to. We have to improve our own self, our own self love. Remember, I talk about it all the time. Solo, shine on loving oneself. Ain't no competition. Understand that. There ain't no competition with you loving you ever. I don't care who it is or what woman it is or how much money she got or how fabulous she is or how famous she is. I don't care about that because in my own right, I'm fabulous on my own. If that captivates your mate, somebody else is more fabulous or bye. I got options too. Bye. Sir Nora, if you think that's better for you, by all means, man up and tell me what it is. And I don't have no issue with it because I trust me. I don't have no problem with that. <laughs> keeping it, I'm keeping it real with you. I don't have a problem with that. Trust me. I, I have all the self-love I need. And I have no problem with wasting energy on what somebody else is doing. In our love relationships, we have to embrace it. Hey, Michelle. We have to embrace it. Okay? We don't have to get all caught up in he's over there with Sandra and she's pretty and she, you know, she flirtatious and da, da, da. so what? What does that mean? Who cares? Let her be flirtatious. He's fine as fuck. I'll be flirtatious too. I don't care about that. Listen, if I'm messing with a dude, he's going to be fine. So at the end of the day, I expect that women are going to be at him in his inbox hollering at him giving him hugs wanting to get at him do you boo because i'm gonna pick somebody fine anyway so i'm not worried about all of that let it be what it is ladies gentlemen the same thing if you got a beautiful woman you most gentlemen know dudes are gonna be at her it's just what it is but as long as we keep all this, well, don't you be talking to nobody and I can't have you being friends with her because she's real pretty and da 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 like, that's you. All of that you're talking about, that is you. That is your insecurities. You need to fix that because that shouldn't be a, it shouldn't even be a word out of your mouth about how you feel uncomfortable. If you're uncomfortable, then you need to get you right. Real talk. 
Okay, guys, I'm out of here. I got to get to the farmer's market. I'm out of here. I love you guys. Share this video and just know what I'm saying. Take the time out to really be mindful. You wasting your energy and time on trying to stop your mate from having connections and, and attractions and stuff. You're making him be a, 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 a one-dimensional with you. Allow him to be attracted to other women. That's what the hell it is. This is real talk. We can't be, oh, I don't want to say hell yeah I find different men attractive am I gonna sit here and try to fake it around him because he's insecure no keep your true authentic self real at all times in and out of a relationship and like I said if you are un un unfortunately uncomfortable about a, a old ex being friends or you feel some type of way because your man's got a best friend as a woman that is insecurities within you and you need to fix it real talk fix it make sure you share this video because somebody needs to hear it i'm out of here guys it's carla nicole i'm signing off best kept have a great day guys bye